What I'll usually do is I'll I'll just try to find some different notes that make sense to me. Uh, and what I mean by make sense to me is, you know, anytime I sit down at the push, I'll always be in a unique sort of state of mind and mood and energy level. So different notes resonate with me at different times. So it's not like I, you know, I have just these go-to notes I will always play, but there are certain notes within the minor scale that uh, I know uh, where they are now and I kind of usually know, depending on how I feel, which notes to play. So I'll, I'll just give an example um, of some of those to you. This is this is a shape right here. So we have the, the uh, triad, and then if I add the seventh, Right here, that would be the seventh, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the octave, which is the eighth. If I use that that shape, so that would look like this. Right? That's usually a sort of nice shape that I like to work with to come up with melody. So I, I kind of choose the uh, the notes that I want to work with, and that's how I I'd actually um, also work on a real hang drum. I'll sort of know where certain notes are that I want to work with. And then what I'll do is I will start almost like finger drumming, playing different rhythms and just use those notes. So I, it's almost like I'm selecting my, my miniature color palette, which would be this, 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 and this note. And then I just see what I can kind of come up with. So I'll kind of um, maybe play something like this. You know what I mean? So that was just improvised. I have a kind of rhythm in my head, which was something like dum dum da, dum da, 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 ba, 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 ba. You know what I mean? And I will just translate that to those particular sounds. And you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, playing around like that usually uh, within you know, a few minutes of uh, jamming with myself, I'll kind of get into a certain zone and then a, a nice idea will pop up. Uh, so let me just do that for you right now. I'm just going to mess around for a bit and uh, see what I come up with, okay? So let me let me just go again. I don't always even have to just stay within those confines. I can use notes in between, obviously. So I might want to go like this. But I, I'll always have that shape in mind as the main notes. And uh, so I might hit notes with uh, outside of that sort of scale within the scale. But I'll, I'll return to those notes to give... Um, the the rhythmic melody some consistency so okay so i'm just going to do something based on that so that's usually what I'll do is I'll, I'll find something that kind of works so to speak and then I once I know I'm hitting record it's almost like that knowing that something's being recorded puts me in that extra zone that gives me that extra kick to to really kind of uh, hone in on that idea and let something spontaneous arise so I'll use the tap tempo right here and tap in a rough tempo, so uh, something at uh, something like this. Two, three, four. Okay, so that's 98. So I'm just going to put it up to 100, just because I like round numbers. So let's. So what I'll do then is I'll put the push on. Uh, I'll push play with the metronome on, like this. And then I will do the same thing I just did to kind of get into that tempo and start practicing with the metronome so when i when it comes to recording i'll feel comfortable playing with the metronome at this tempo okay i'm, I'm going
going to just record something like that. So let's say I'm in the zone right now. Um, I just get ready to record. Actually, you know what I'll do is I'm going to go on fixed length. Let me see one, two. I'm going to record a four bar loop. And I like to do this with the fixed length on because if I'm playing a complex pattern, what will end up happening is I'll try to rush the pattern so I can hit the uh, record button to stop at the end of the loop. And then I'll end up playing something uh, slightly wrong or off time. And then it's just, just kind of annoying to have to correct it. So if I know the, the length that I'm going to be recording, it's always worth hitting that fixed length button. So here we go. One, two, three, four. So what I'll do now is I'm going to hit and hold the, um, oh sorry, that's the wrong button. I'm going to hit and hold the quantize button and it's on quantize the 16th notes and I'm just going to put it on 85 just to give it that extra bit, oh, or it's on 86 right now, extra sort of um, tightness without taking away the human element. So once I've got that setting done, I'll push the quantize button again. we have it. We have a nice little first part going on. Okay. Okay, I like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit this button that 